What's up everybody? It's your girl Miss K. I want to do a quick video. I got a question um, from a new subscriber um, on my gun channel and he wanted the top, I would say maybe the top three reasons why I joined the military when I did. Um, Y'all know that I was in Desert Storm from 91 through, well, the, 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 the Desert Storm thing was um, back in 90, 91. So I was in from 91 through, actually 90 through 94. So I did four years active duty in the um, United States Army. So he wanted to know um, what was my reasoning for joining the military. And I was, I, was, I, mean, I can give maybe top, three top reasons. Um, my first reasoning was because, um, the area that I grew up in, which was, um, Gary, Indiana, which was, a still is a rough city. Um, it's a rough city, but it's a real city. You know, um, the environment, I think, shaped or made me realize real soon in life that if I wanted to have something, I would have to get out of that situation, so to speak, or get caught up into some things I didn't need to be caught up in. So that was one reason. My main reason was, you know, just getting out the environment I was in, getting my mother out of that environment, which was not always positive. You know, um, it was a lot of negativity, to be honest. And if you're from Gary, Indiana, you know what I mean. I don't want to dive too much into that. Um, I'm not ashamed of where I'm from. I'm glad I grew up like I did. Would I change it? In, a, in another, um, would I change how I grew up? No, because it shaped me and molded me to be the woman that I am now. Um, no nonsense. I'm a no nonsense type of person. Um, I read people easily. Um, and pretty much when I read a person, um, I'm pretty much spot on. Um, you're not gonna pull the wool over my eyes too much. You know, it's just, that's just the way it is, you know. Um, and let me try to think. My second reasoning was to, to um, I've always been the type of person to, I've always, um, I, well, I guess I could say it like this. I've always been the type of person that wanted to work or wanted to do something with my life. I'm not trying to put down anybody by, by any means. I didn't want to be one of those females that um, got pregnant before they graduated and had to have a baby and couldn't, you know, when you have a child, that changes everything. I don't want I didn't want to be that statistic so to so to speak you know um, because my mother raised you know my mother raised me I'm, I come from a single parent home and I didn't I, I never wanted to be a single parent um, I didn't want to be in that situation so I, like I said I'm not judging anybody or anything like that I'm not trying to put anybody down because a lot of my friends they had babies and stuff at my age and a lot of them have gone on and gotten married and you know have living a productive life and there's nothing wrong with that but um, I saw how my mom struggled, so no, I did not want to have a child, you know, or whatever. Um, I just wasn't interested in that, you know. Just because a woman is a woman doesn't mean every woman should have children, you know. Um, so I just never did, you know. Um, I, I was a career-minded person. I wanted to, you know, have a career, you know, do things that I wanted to do. I'm an only child, you know, too, so that could be part of it, too. Um, so that's my second reasoning is, is that I wanted something out of life. I wanted to be career minded. Um, I, I've always been about my, my, uh, about my coins by getting my money. I always been, I always been that type of person and I don't mind getting the coins and helping my family out. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. And that's what I've been about and, and will continue to be that way. Um, I don't, I don't know if I really have a third reason. Because anything that anything that I that I um that I did in the military anything that I did before I joined the military was to better myself. You know, um, I felt like joining the military would better not only myself but my family as well. Um, I guess the third reasoning is to um, I have a patriotism. You know, I'm patriotic to a point. Um, not overly patriotic, you know, but enough to the point where I wanted to do something or be a part of something that other than myself if you get if you get what i'm saying when you join the military you're not in there just for you i'm a team oriented type of person 
if I was to ever make supervisor and I've had opportunities in my career to be a supervisor, you know, at the job that I have now, I just don't want to do it at this time in my career. I only have like 30 months maybe to work and I'm going to retire. I don't, I won't have the age, but I'll have the time and I'll find something else that I can do to contribute or give back to the community that I live in. Um, so I'm patriotic, you know, you know, um, plus I get to carry around pretty things. You know, when, when you, when you join the military and you get out and you get out with an honorable discharge and you do the things necessary to fulfill your contract or whatever, it doesn't go away. That's just something that you always do. Plus you get to carry around pretty things like this <laughs> responsibly. Trust me, responsibly. All my shit is on point. I tell people all the time, more females need to get into carrying firearms. You need, to, you need to get out there and train as a female. Get out there and carry these firearms. Know what you're doing with the firearms. Um, there, I don't feel like there's enough females that are in that in that spectrum of um, owning firearms and, and into guns and stuff like that. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. Miss K is not trying to hurt nobody, but Miss K is not going to get hurt either. You feel me? Um... It's, it's all about responsibility. I, I take the necessary measures, you know, to do, to, to, for me to have that um, ability or uh, skill set to um, to carry guns or carry firearms. I take it, I take it very seriously, you know. So, like I said, um, that's a perk. That's that's part of it to me. That's a, that's a good thing. So I hope that I answered this guy's questions because um, he asked me, you know, those what top three reasons were. Um, uh, he wanted to know the top three reasons why I joined the military. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm, I'm patriotic. Not overly, not overbearing, but I am a patriotic person. It was a life changer for me. Um, and, you know, I don't just think about myself. I was thinking about my mother. You know, so it really tremendously shaped our lives in a different direction because I could have easily gotten caught up in the environment I was in, in two, you know, in Gary, Indiana, hashtag 219. Um, I could have easily been swallowed up in something, into something negative and that I wouldn't have been living the lifestyle that I'm living now, which is a blessed lifestyle. Uh, it could have impacted me, you know, in a negative way and put my mom through a lot of turmoil or whatever. So I felt like I made the right decision for me. The military is not for everybody. Um, you have to have a certain mindset. You have to have, you have, to have a strong mind. Um, it's not for everybody. But for the ones that want to join or whatever, even in this present day and time, if you want to join and serve your country, do it. Go for it. Um, it's definitely not, it's a courageous move. Um, it's definitely not for cowards. Um, so if you, if you got some backbone to you and you want to join the military, go for it. No matter what branch you go in, you want to go in the army, Navy, Marine Corps, uh, Air Force, go for it is what I say. Anyway, I hope that I answered the questions. Um, I try, I try to speak from my heart. Um, so I hope that these questions were answered for this, um, for my subscriber, my supporter. And yeah, y'all, uh, um, next video I'll probably do will be after I've taken this baby to the range. The 38 Special. Y'all know I just got this baby. Just got my baby. So I got to take... I got to take it to the range. Um, I got a box of uh, ammo that I just need to go through all of it and uh, test this thing out. This The, the ammo that, you, that, I, that I put on my Twitter page is not going to be the ammo that I'm going to carry in this 38. Trust me. I carry hollow points in my concealed carry weapons just so you know um i don't need a bullet you know um pray to god i never have to use it for anything but i don't need bullets going through other stuff you know uh, if you know what i mean when you get hollow points uh hollow points tend to hit the target and spray it we all know that so to me you need to carry um hollow points in all your carry concealed weapons so i'm gonna get if y'all know any kind of suggestions i can get for the 38 um ammo what, I already kind of know what I want to get, but if y'all got suggestions, y'all let me know. Anyway, it's your girl, Miss K, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.